Hey guys, this is Ian. Welcome to the first digital speed painting I have done since July of last year. I apologize it's been so long. I I have been pretty rubbish at uploading in the last few months and especially rubbish at uploading digital content, but uh, I am going to be trying to get back on that now. And not only is this the first digital painting that I have uploaded in the last year, this is the first digital comic book character that I have painted since July. 2015 I think the last one that I did was Killer Croc and if you go back and check that video I think you will agree that my abilities uh, at not only painting but also the production quality of these videos has increased dramatically that since then and I am particularly happy with how this piece has come out at the end so for this return to doing comic book characters digitally I decided to do one of my favorite characters and a uh, character who I know is a favorite amongst many people, Harley Quinn. Of course, I remember Harley mostly from the old animated series back in 1992, uh, where she was actually first introduced to the DC universe. That's always going to be probably one of my favorite incarnations of her, along with the versions that you see in the Arkham game series, the Arkham City, Arkham Asylum series. Uh, I really liked her aesthetic in that one. I also really like her aesthetic in the Suicide Squad comics. Uh, not so much the film, I will admit I was not keen on the Suicide Squad film at all. And whilst I felt Margot Robbie did a pretty good job with uh, portraying Harley personality-wise, I did not think that the aesthetic was uh, particularly fitting uh, for the character. But it would be boring if we all liked the same things. So for this version of Harley, I decided to stick much more closer to her, how she's portrayed in the Suicide Squad comics, uh, as well as the Arkham series, and took a little bit of inspiration from the animated series as well. One thing that I really wanted to bring over to this painting from the animated series was the hyenas Bud and Lou. Uh, they were, I think they're actually supposed to be the Joker's hyenas, but in the animated series, they were, they responded much more to Harley. They they acted much more like they were her, her pet hyenas, uh, to the extent that she actually referred to them as her babies constantly throughout the, uh, throughout the series. Um, so I wanted to bring them both into this painting painting. Unfortunately, I, as I was working on it, I found that compositionally, uh, I was only going to be able to get one of them in uh, effectively. Otherwise, it would have started detracting from Harley herself, pushed her far too far into the background. So I decided to just go with one of them instead. Um, I don't know which one it is, whether it's Bud or Lou. I think one of them uh, had a red collar and the other one didn't. I can't, I cannot remember which way around that is, but uh, this is obviously the one without the red collar, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna say that was Bud. This is Bud. So as with all my digital paintings, I split this one up into different elements. Uh, the main element, the main focus of the piece being Harley Quinn and the hyena, whichever one it is. Um, and the background element, uh, in this case, is obviously going to be Gotham City. I One of the reasons I really enjoy doing characters from the Batman universe is not just because the characters I find so engaging and so interesting, but also the city itself, Gotham City, is just as much fun to draw and to paint as the characters themselves. It has a lot of character itself. I personally I'm not keen on painting and drawing environments and man-made objects. I much prefer doing characters and creatures, but Gotham City itself is such a, a, a visceral um, place. It's got so much character to it. It's quite a lot of fun uh, trying to portray that in the picture. So I was using a lot of um, references from sort of 1920s New York uh, era. Um, I find that kind of thing helps uh, immediately associate with things like organized crime obviously things like um, the the mafia we're going around you had things like prohibition and all sorts of organized crime and that that architecture I find really helps bring that sort of thing to mind um, obviously there's other things as well that I, I can bring into it to um, really litter up the streets so I, I brought this down into a, a back alleyway with uh, obvious graffiti and things on the wall I, I went into doing 
the graffiti in, in quite a lot of detail. I made some separate decals for them and uh, really I, I had a lot of fun trying to put in some Easter eggs and things into each one uh, as, as I was painting them. So a lot of them kind of get mi go missing in the overall painting, but we know they're there at the end of the day. So that's all that really matters. <laughs> That being said, there are a lot of things that I would like to go back and change with this painting now looking back at it after I've completed it. There are large areas where the perspective in the in the background is totally out of whack. Um, unfortunately, I think that's, that's due to the extreme worm's eye view that I've used here. It's not the easiest perspective to get right every time. Uh, the other problem that I realized looking back at the footage that I was having uh, is in Photoshop itself I was using entirely the wrong brush um, to get the perspective lines in right I was using one which uh, was using a lot of pressure um, sensitivity which was causing me all sorts of problems and for some reason I didn't think to change my brush uh, so that, that's very much my own fault there are also details that I realized I left out things that I wanted to put in there's uh, going to be more um, litter and things on the street stuff uh, as well as potholes and things in the road and for some reason I totally neglected to put them in uh, which is a shame but I don't think it particularly detracts from the final piece. I also feel I could have done a lot better job with uh, both the anatomy and the fur, the hair on the hyena on Bud. Um, his body feels kind of shapeless and the fur as well isn't the best I've ever done. I actually have some hair and fur brushes that I use usually when I'm doing fur and hair um, but because I wanted to keep this particular picture with a fairly comic book feeling to it still um, I didn't want to go down the route of using those brushes uh, and instead wanted to stick to using more of a, a painterly technique and this is also the reason that I chose to leave the line work uh, to the end. Normally, quite often with digital paintings, I will work the painting until I can remove the line work entirely. But because I wanted to keep that comic book aesthetic, I figured I'd leave the line work. And it helps add again to that um, slightly darker, danker feeling to the overall piece, I feel. Um, makes it just that a little bit more gritty. But I think we are now approaching the end of this video, so I'd like to say thank you very much for sticking with, with me until the end. Let me know in the comments what you think of the final piece, and also let me know in the comments what you think of these commentaries and what you might like to hear me talk about in the future uh, for these videos. Obviously, uh, there are a lot of characters that I have that I want to paint for you guys for these videos, um, but uh, I, I might not necessarily have a lot to say about the characters so if there's anything that you'd like to hear me discuss uh, about Photoshop or the or the techniques that I use when I'm painting then please feel free to ask ask down in the comments below and also leave suggestions for any characters that you would specifically like to see me uh, paint in the future and I I will attempt to try and get through through them at some point though I can't guarantee when that will be although I am going to aim to try and get one of these digital paintings out uh, maybe once a week, maybe uh, once every couple of weeks. Um, if you are interested in seeing me paint more things live, then you can follow me over on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash IMP underscore Mellus, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, the link will be down in the description below and uh, you can pop along uh, and ask me questions live and I'll try and talk, uh, talk about whatever there and there. Anyway guys, thank you once again very much for uh, watching this video, sticking with me until the end. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video sometime hopefully next week or if not the week after. Thanks guys and I'll see you later.